Welcome back to the After Party After Show. Today, we're going to be talking about the most recent episode, Danner, which was episode seven. But we also think we solved the case. We think we cracked the case. So we'll get to that after we talk about Danner. But let me introduce everybody. So we have Brad from Canada. How you doing, everybody? And we have Jules, a.k.a. Molly, you stole the package. Willow. Rude. Willow. Willow. Willow, Willow stole the package. Willow. I don't know why Molly. Though. Yeah, I did try. <laughs> we okay, want to so... talk about the irony of my last name being Steele. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, true. Yeah. Okay. Danny, call the cops. In this episode, at first, I was thinking that there was possibility that they'd show she has some shadiness to her. But really, Brad, you were talking about this pre-show. It was pretty much just showing her rivalry with this Jermaine detective. And I, and I was wrong on it being a big name. Really, it's just the fact that she wants to prove herself to this guy and, you know, show that she can do the job. So is that what you think was the whole point? Well, originally, it, sh it showed in the police academy that this uh, Aldrin Germain character, he kind of rose through the ranks pretty quick while Danner stayed pretty like beat cop and stuff, even though she all she wanted to be was a detective. And by the end, we kind of saw through the flashback on how he kind of rose through the ranks by not really caring if the person was innocent or guilty. And that was proven with uh, with Willow Steele in the packages that it was kind of obvious after all the evidence that Danner picked up that she didn't do it. Fred Savage's character did it. Shout out to Fred Savage. Yeah. Um, but he didn't care. He just wanted the collar, wanted the credit, wanted everything. So. She's worried that with a murder case like this, and he's going to get nailed for it, and Detective Aldrin Germain is fine with that. Hey, easiest answer is that you're 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 guilty. You're coming with me. Yeah, Jules, would you agree that if Germain got there, then it would just be like, all right, Anik, you did it. Let's go. Case closed. Oh, a hundred percent. This guy's clearly more worried about his his you know record of arrests than he is about actually catching the person who committed the crime. I mean, I'm not really surprised by that. <laughs> But, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm so excited. We figured this out. So someone in the, in the comments figured this out. It, it's, I'm, I'm 99% sure. And I'll give reasoning after we read this comment. But Brad, go ahead. Read this gem. Okay, this is an absolute gem. This is somebody that thought very long and very hard and like basically sifted through some episodes to check it out. So shout out to uh, Elizabeth Fagan, who sent us this. I'm convinced it was Jasper. At the beginning of his episode, when he tells Anik about the hidden camera in the poster, Anik says, it shows the real killer. And Jasper says, it shows that you are not the killer. Right after that, Jasper is tweeting on his phone that has a black case when his phone has a green case with his name on it. Seconds later, the camera footage is deleted. And it says that Xavier did not have his phone on him when the body was found. So he could be deleting it through Xavier's phone. Oh, yeah. In, in Chelsea's episode, Jasper is wearing a different jacket. It was all black while he's inspiring her to go for her first second shot. He knows where Xavier kept all his spare clothing and gave, as he gave Anik, a pair of pants. The blonde wig is likely memorabilia from his Hall and Oates movie. I think Jasper wore the wig, kept his back to the camera, and pushed Xavier. That is some... That, that tracks... Like, heavy detective work right there and yeah. i just i, I rewatched. yeah good way to go i rewatched uh jasper's episode which was at episode three last night and like having this comment in mind while watching it it's like holy shit because like i kind of had a feeling that this show would be a type of show where if you watched it back you'd be like oh like yeah this guy's the killer and this and this is why and the whole phone thing blew my mind i mean well, me too like Jules, like honestly, literally early in the episode, he pulls out his phone. You know, you remember mm -hmm. it's green and it says Jasper. And then when they're going through the police footage and he's asking if he can help them and that they, they're ignoring him, he acts like he's tweeting the police department. But it's a black case. It's a black case. It's yeah, a different he, phone. He was bragging about and showing Anik that look, like Jasper. Jasper, like, yeah. He's really proud of that phone case. Right. So my theory is, along with this, that not only did he delete the footage, but he also texted himself from Xavier's phone. 
that mm. meet me in the studio it's track 12 on you you inspired it what i what i actually think happened is he found that he walked into the studio found that and he's like he fucking stole my that's my line how great is this party that's my line and then that's his rage he's getting ignored like he's not going to bless his track and and by the way that's all he wanted he will all he wanted was xavier to, to bless a track he didn't want a full song so so why would xavier all of a sudden be like oh yeah here's this full song that you inspired it just doesn't track to xavier's mindset and and jasper's mindset at the time so I think he just saw that he stole his line, how great is his party, and confronted him about it. Or he just decided to put on the wig and go kill him right there. Because Xavier's dead before Anik wakes up and gets the stuff spilled on him. Yeah. Because because then Anik walks up the stairs and, and screams. So he's already dead. So he could have killed him, put on that YouTube video, how great is this party, Anik wakes up and then he shows up acting like the good friend to uh to Anik. To, to, to Anik, yeah, to appease everything. And he's throughout, like, you know, I, I rewatched a few episodes and you're seeing that Jasper looks like he's helping, but he's not really. Like right. he seems to be steering all the attention, like right at Anik. Yeah. And, and and telling Anik, no, 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 you didn't do it, you didn't do it, you didn't do it. But he doesn't tell anybody else that Anik didn't do it. Yeah. Like, he, he's not standing up for him un, unless he's with Anik. And did you see how, like, annoyed he got when uh, Zoe stole his headphone to yes. listen into what oh, they were yeah. talking about in this episode? He yeah. was very he, salty about that. And he kept going back and be like, well, what are they he's saying? Like, What's what are they saying? What are they saying? Yeah. What are they saying? What's going on? Mm-hmm. And they're like, will you just shut up? <laughs> yeah. So, so at this point, if it isn't Jasper, I'm going to be surprised. Uh, you know, I, we had fun with the whole Walt thing, but let's let's open our minds for a second here. Could it have been a two person job? And if so, who's that second person? My initial thought would be Chelsea. But Chelsea? she cha- but she changed her mind because she did go it. She did go there with the cat tranquilizer. But in her story he didn't drink it and then she even tells the cops look at his blood he didn't drink it so i didn't do it so yeah. i think that it was going to be like maybe maybe a two-person job if i had to you know keep the theories alive to just to make another guess because at this point i am like so certain it's yes it's yes it's not even funny especially after that comment and re-watching the episode so let's open it up what do you guys think is there any other possibility besides yes or are you just convinced that it's him Mm. and all the signs are pretty much pointing towards him i don't see it being like a two-person team i don't really see any evidence for that and i'm wondering if maybe what i forget her name the like the hipstery kind of girl with the glasses the one who did like the art deco indigo 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 thank you she's blonde Sorry. right she's blonde. Yeah. blonde wig. she was blonde yeah yeah and maybe he was wearing blonde wigs so that people would think it was her because they haven't yeah. really talked about her a lot mm. But, oh, she she skimmed right under the radar just because she's all weird. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm thinking maybe that's why he went with the wig, if that's the case. Um, yeah. Because I can't think of anybody else he'd be trying to frame with that. All right. Well, Brad, if, if you just are certain it's Jasper, then instead of picking somebody else, how did he get from the balcony to the downstairs living room? Did he jump? Well, how's he get down there? We don't know, but one thing we do know is that Jasper actually has inside knowledge of Xavier's place because he was there to set up all the equipment. So he probably knows the ins and outs. And he's also like a big fan. So it just seems that he would know, like, if he has to map out the stuff for all the audio equipment that he had to put in, he might find <laughs> there's a secret panic room. Is there other secret ways to get up and down? Is yeah, there, like a like, hidden is staircase like a, or something? A Batman fireman pole or something to, to get quick down? Like, <laughs> I hope that's what it is. I, has, I got him so open. Okay, so he takes uh, the yeah, whole notes wig, yeah. he goes, pushes them off the balcony, finds a way to sneak down, and since he has Xavier's phone at this point, he could play How Great Is This Party from YouTube across the whole house. Yeah. Without right having that, to go to the studio and stuff. Yeah. Without having to be mm-hmm. at the studio. Right. Because and he's got knowledge of it. 
Right, because the phone obviously has the, the software on it. If he could delete the the footage from the phone, then he could play a YouTube video from the phone too. So that tracks. It all tracks. So, I mean, I think we cracked it. We're going to have to wait and see next week. Well, at um, the end, at the end, Danner thinks she cracked it as well. Yes, she does. She, she was talking to um, to her partner and she says, oh, I solved it. I solved it. I solved mm-hmm. it. And oh, yeah. And that just has to tie up some loose ends. And one more thing. We actually were played a little bit by Apple TV. They messed with us with the, the last title of the episode. The episode eight was originally going to be who Danner. That, yeah, who that's Danner. Th- that's literally what it said in the IMDb. But it's actually Maggie. They're going to interview Brett and Zoe's kid. Yeah, because yeah, she was in the car the whole time. Right, exactly. So she's she's the one that has some knowledge. I still don't know what's up with Jennifer, too. People say she, she's given birth. Did that actually get confirmed? Or people I don't know, but it does make sense the way people explained it. Because do you remember when, when Danner first walked in and she like slipped on the puddle on the floor? Yeah, her water, water that, broke. That's because her water broke. Her water broke, yeah. Which okay, would make right. sense. She was very, very pregnant. Like, right. very pregnant. Oh, yeah. But I find it You're hard to believe to that she would go to have her baby and nobody knows about it. Yeah. But that's yeah, a that... little suspicious. Because I feel like someone would have to know. Yeah, and what well, and she was the one that was texting Chelsea to stay away. So that's why the text message just stopped. It would track right. that that she's mm. given birth. But, you know, how did she, maybe her husband picked her up? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, how did she get to the hospital? And yeah. no one, the police just let her go. And so that'd be wild if she was in on it and she was just like hidden the, the entire time. And then yeah, we find she's... out. Yeah. I mean, because mm. they, they, they could, they could pull the rug out from under us and it, and it might not be Asper, but the evidence just, it just, it's there. There's so much. There's it's so much there. that we did, we didn't even notice until we read, uh, read, uh, Elizabeth's, Elizabeth's comments here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I feel like it has to, at the very least, be one of the guys. Like, I feel like they wouldn't parallel the wig thing with Danner's original story if that didn't have some yeah, like, reason. That's to play true. Do you know what I mean? It's too close that's, to that story. That is and, too close. And that's when you're right because that's what her partner, Culp, when he said, "Wait, so you think that the producer put on the wig just to kill?" He's like, that doesn't make sense. And then she's like, it does make sense. And I under and I know who did it. So like you're right. It 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 absolutely has to be a man and for her to make that connection in her brain with that previous case. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's what Saul did. Yeah, 100 percent All right. So I guess we'll see if we're wrong. We'll be back here next week to discuss the finale. But either way, such a fun ride, man. What a great oh, show. Oh, it's awesome. I, I, I do I do have one, more. I do have one more theory. It's, yeah, go ahead. Okay, I think Walt helped at Jasper. Okay. I don't okay. I don't think I don't think Jasper remembered him helping. <laughs> so so he'll get away with it. So, <laughs> yeah, okay, Walt's that's, gonna... <laughs> that's fantastic. I love that theory. Poor Walt. Well, the guy's oh, done man. nothing but try to be the sweetheart of a guy and have just said uh, he's a murderer. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, that'd be hilarious. Oh, all right. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good way to end it. Okay. Well, thanks for listening, and uh, we Make will sure see you, you next comment. week. Throw yeah, some comment. comments out. See if we're right, wrong, or indifferent. Do you have any more wild theories? Because we'll read them. We're here for all of them. We love all this. This is awesome. Yeah, 100%. Comment, subscribe, and uh, thanks for listening, and we will see you next week. All right. See you. Bye, guys. Thanks, guys.